Welcome to A Word on Western. Today we are very fortunate to have a couple of people who were associated with uh, Jim Arness in a big way. Bruce Boxleitner, who was mentored by Big Jim, yes. and Janet Arness, who was married to Jim. Yes! I'm glad you are both here. The show, Gunsmoke, and, and Jim's entire career it means so much to a lot of people. I'm just uh, thrilled to have you here, especially you, Janet. I see Bruce all the time. Yeah. It's really nice to see everybody here. Would love to have you share some of the stories about Jim. I know he was a surfer, a pilot, uh, and a, a big sportsman, a sailor. You married him after Gunsmoke was already uh, finished, right. so. We were dating the last year of Gunsmoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And How then, did you meet him? Uh, well, his makeup artist, Glenn Alden, uh, his wife owned a dress shop on Tahunga Avenue, and I happened to work for her. And uh, I worked for her maybe six or seven years, and she would tell me about Jim and their adventures, and, um, but I never met him. And, one night she said, well, you know, Jim's coming over for dinner. Why don't you come over and meet him? And I thought, oh, you know, an actor, I don't know. Um, ooh, an actor. Yeah, I knew ooh. ooh, yeah. <laughs> but my, my son was really into gun smoke. He loved gun smoke and was watching it every Monday night. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll meet Jim and I'll tell my son I met him. So um, went over to their house. Well, I got there before Jim did. And I'm sitting there nervously waiting, and I hear a knock on the door. And here comes this huge man through the door. I mean, I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, he is a big guy. And um, he was very polite. We, it was, we were introduced to each other. We sat down. And Jim was so friendly. He was just so down to earth. and my nervousness went away and we just started talking and he was a skier and I was into skiing so uh, Jim had a, an old cabin up in Mammoth that was one of the miners cabin and um, he said you know sometime we've got to go skiing and I said oh that's great you know and that's that's how we met and um, after dinner he walked me out to my car and said well I'd like to call you and I said, okay, so he called me the next day and I'm going like, ooh, this is nice. <laughs> um, and he was flying up to Mammoth Lakes and he said, would you like to go? And I said, yeah, I'd love to go. My dad was a pilot, my brother's a pilot, so I had no qualms about being in a small plane. And what plane did he have at that time? He had um, a Bonanza, a Beechcraft Bonanza. We uh, flew up there and just talk, you know, about life and everything going on. We went to a place called Red, Red's Meadows. Have you been there? No. Uh, well, he rented horses, and I hadn't been on a horse since I was like five years old. And um, he rented these horses, and we take, oh, first we stopped at a grocery store. We go into this grocery store, and Jim gets, <laughs> yeah, Jim loved to shop. <laughs> he loved food. <laughs> we, got, we got cheese and crackers and bread and wine and all, oh. kinds, of, all kinds of goodies, you know. Um, <laughs> and then standing in the market was this <laughs> uh, advertisement of Jim. <laughs> Lifetime <laughs> holding cigarettes. <laughs> and I was like, oh God, I'm, what is that? <laughs> but we um, took this trail. Jim knew exactly where he was going. And we passed a waterfall, and um, my saddle got loose, so we stopped, and he cinched up the saddle for me. And we finally get to this remote place where people had camped. And we sat down on a couple of logs and we had lunch. And um, we just talked about our families and what I did for a living. And I knew what he did, so. <laughs> but um, afterwards, what really impressed me about Jim was he stood up when we were finished and people who had camped there before had left trash on the ground. And Jim went and he picked up all the trash and put it in his saddlebag. Yeah, and he cleaned it. up the whole place, and I thought, you know, that, that's a cool, it is. That's wow, a cool it is. guy. So, so, but the, the funny thing in the story is, 
after he, we flew home, and um, he said to me, well, what do you do? Because we went up there on a Thursday, and he said, well, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I thought, <laughs> gosh, I don't want to look too anxious, you know. <laughs> so I said, well, I can't make it this weekend, but, you know, next weekend. And he said, well, I'm flying up to Alaska, and um, I'm going to be gone for a few weeks. So I'll call you when I get back. Uh, and I think he went on that trip with John Mantley. Mm -hmm. That was one with John Mantley and a friend of his um, who was a doctor friend, and they had a sailboat together. So three weeks go by, and a month goes by. Two months go by, I don't hear anything from Jim. But I knew he was back because I worked with the lady whose husband was his makeup artist. So she said to me, well, why don't you give Jim a call? And I said, I bet Jim has a lot of women calling him. <laughs> I, you know, I said, he's got my number. If he wanted to call, he would call. Um, about three months later, he did call me. <laughs> and we went out to dinner, and after that, it was uh, Perfect. A, re a relationship that lasted for the rest of his life. That's, that's great. Yeah. And I remember when you... Uh, the word was on the set of How the West Was Won that you were coming out, that Jim, I think I remember the first time you came out to that set. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and we were all, who is she going to be and what is she going to be like? And, um, you know. Yeah, because Jim was so private, you know. Not he was such a private man. Yeah. And so this was a big deal that we were actually going to know a little bit more about his private life, you yeah. know. And there you were. Well, when we got married, they didn't even have a photo of me. They, they came to the dress shop looking for me. And um, I told them, I'm not here. I, don't, I, I didn't want any pictures taken. I just, I was, I'm like Jim, I was very private, so. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Rob Ward. I hope you enjoyed A Word on Westerns. It's an interview series we do. We post a new one every single week. If you missed any, just sign up for this little baby right here. Whoa.